It's more or less a London derby, isn't it? Crystal Palace and um, Chelsea. And it was even, even. So I said, yeah, cool. Well, if it stay like that, because if it is, he's got to use me. I must come on and change this game. So I come out second half and it's, it's 10 minutes gone, still near nil. 15, 20 minutes gone, still near nil. And I'm thinking, come on, get me on. And I'm not trying to make too many noises, but I started screeching at the studs and the so you can, you know, look at me, making noises up to get me on, man, I'm here. And then, you know what I mean, he's still not looking at me, I'm thinking, man, what's this guy doing? And I must have been the last 15 minutes that was left. And I remember he just said, Cannons, mate, go and get warmed up. And I went, yes, yes. And I went down the sideline, I was stretching. I was trying to do my stretches real quick because I wanted to get back on that pitch as soon as possible. And I was trying to do my stretches and I started there, this racist abuse and I was like, Igga, go on. And I was like, wow, Crystal Palace fans trying to put me off here. Yeah. No, nah, Paul, eh? ignore that, ignore that. Oi, Wog, go on. Nah, 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 nah. And it got worse. And it got worse. And I was getting angry. And I don't usually do that. I'm in an environment where I'm going to hold it down because I don't want anybody to see that anger me or anything to say I'm a troublemaker. So I just, I just couldn't believe it. I turned around. And when I turned around, it was like, what? And trying to throw bananas at me, I was like, this was my own fans that were racially abusing me. I was like, I've got the same shirt as you, man. And I was like, I, I didn't know what to say. I honestly didn't know what to say. By the time now, Cannon's come and I got to the line, I took off the track to took off the sock. I really and truly, adrenaline was gone. I didn't want to go nowhere. So I hugged the line. I literally hugged the line, gave him the ball, I'll give it, I gave back, give him the ball, gave back. Waiting for the referee to blow his whistle. He did. Ran straight to the uh, changing rooms. It's in the corner, I was like, wow, what? And the lads came in, and um, when the lads came in, it was so quiet. Literally, you get banter in the changing room with players. We we let off. It was so quiet. They'd heard what I received. They were there, and it was like. Now, I had to think at the same time, because it wasn't just me coming so far and thinking all the time I wanted a professional, is what my mum went through when she came over when we knocked too much. And at 16 years old, realised that her dreams of being a nurse were taken away because she had to bring up two kids. And trying to make better, now dad's out of the picture. And trying to make better that she was working in a hotel, in the laundry, and um, Went for a position to be a maid, to be a maid and clean up the rooms. Went for the, the interview and he's told that the job's gone. So her friend, who was white, went upstairs for the same position and got the job. When she came back there and told my mum, she said, what? So my mum went back up, asked the manager, hold on, you told me the position was gone, but you gave my friend, who was white. And he told her straight, a black woman can't be seen in the room. What? From there, my mum walked out of the job. Didn't have nowhere to go. She literally walked out. And that was my mum, stubborn. And I get that, because I've got it too. But that went through my head. If you walk out, what happened? If I went to another club and that same thing happened again? So I stacked it out. And the reason why I was there taking the abuse for three, three long years. You know what I mean? And it was at that stage as well, with football at that time at Chelsea, when I was taking all that abuse, I didn't have anybody support. I didn't have anybody ask me 
假的，会不会有 ？Are you alright, fellas? I was on my own, and I didn't complain because I thought if I complain, I'll be dropped out. We had no organisations then. Kick it out, so racing the car. He was a loner, as a young black boy, and that's a wrap. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh, mate. Thank you.